Hey guys, what's going on? Savage Dan here, playing some uh, Battlefield 4. Uh, no weaponology today, even though I said it. Uh, I'm trying to get something in the works to make it a real uh, YouTube show. And for me to do that, I had to get some graphic design stuff done. So, Ann and Ammon has to like look at my request to make it a real show. And then they have to determine if it would be a good uh, show or not, and if it would be allowed according to YouTube's terms. But I'm using the M249 today. I got 200 bullets of pure awesomeness. And again, I love how they made the uh, the LMGs in this game actually accurate. Because, like I, I said it a long time ago when I first made my first LMG video. I feel like in Battlefield 3 it was kind of annoying such stupid that a soldier that was trained with this type of gun couldn't be accurate with it uh, just because well what the hell is making that noise that's a weird noise for a helicopter but um, I didn't like how they're inaccurate if you know a soldier's trained to use it he's gonna be accurate with it going through all that boot camp training and all the fire exercises with it he's gonna know how to shoot that rifle uh, and this one you know you actually you can actually be accurate with it, which is amazing because if you're accurate with an LMG, uh, you have a lot of bullets to kill a lot of people. And when I say a lot of bullets to kill a lot of people, I mean a lot of people. 200 bullets is a lot of kills. And, like, they're not dead accurate. They still have, like, a random spread to them. But LMGs in real life aren't dead accurate. You know, they're not going to hit the same target every time. Just because of most of the time the the caliber bullets coming out, you know, just they're not, not they're not dead accurate. I don't think we can go yet. That's my decision. I'm gonna say that's too. Oh no. Okay, that guy knows what he's doing. But I love how you can you know be super accurate. Uh, I kind of love fucking around with LMGs, which is why I have one out right now. I was using the M249 for a little bit. Just to see uh, how good it is, because you have to unlock it through the campaign, and I haven't used it since I unlocked it. So I wanted to try it out, and I thought I'd make a video with it, because, you know, why not? Uh, fire rate's good. Accuracy's good. It'd be better if I had a, an angled foregrip to, to help control it better, or potato grip, actually, would probably be really good on an LMG. Because uh, a potato grip is, uh, you know, no... Accuracy by reducing the automatic fire penalty by 15%. Um, so, you can shoot full auto with it and be really accurate, which is always good. We're going to use that sight instead. Or not that sight, but you know what I mean. And the laser sight. But I'm having a lot of fun using it. Oh god, building swimming. But uh, hopefully we can start weaponology uh, next week. Hopefully I can get my graphic design stuff done and the show, you know, be accepted by a YouTube ad. So what this means is that you can subscribe to the show and it'll put in your inboxes that a new episode of the show went live, not just from my YouTube channel. So it, it just adds another safeguard so you won't miss an episode, which, you know, is always awesome. Because we all know the YouTube sub boxes are, how do I put this nicely, broken, how I want to put it, fucked. Uh, they've been messed up for a long time to where videos just don't show up in people's sub boxes or, well, that's pretty much it. Like a good solid way to stop that from happening is, you know, going into your subscription center and having it to where if you really like someone and their videos you make it to where you get an email anytime they upload a video I've never done this for a youtuber because I don't really watch that much YouTube to be honest what the fuck I'm just talking to you hello but uh yeah I don't really watch YouTube that often so I never seen that as a uh, there are some really funny, entertaining channels I watch, but 
I'm not someone that, you know, watches a ton of YouTube. I might be subscribed to a ton of people, but half the people I don't even watch anymore. And I just don't feel like unsubscribing. So, uh, you know, I've never seen if that email thing works any better. But apparently it does, so. Let's go and with that. Probably shouldn't try to shoot someone that far away with a gun. You know, it's accurate, but the farther away it is, the, the more spread the bullets get, so. That probably wasn't a good idea to try to shoot that guy. We're gonna spawn this guy. Jump out. I want to cross the corner field. There are two stingers just ahead of you. They're not bad, but I need to take them out. Alright, I got you. Look at that squad work. That's a fan king coming. Squad work to the max. Yeah. I don't think I hit those guys once. Yeah, apparently this guy's our chopper is getting bombarded with uh with stingers, so we're gonna try to help him out and kill some some areas I see rockets coming from. Kill those guys and tell them to stop it. Who do they think they are shooting at my chopper? Use some ammo. Ah! Who needs C4? I got a barrel. We're gonna run through like we're not here. I probably don't have to reload, but I'd like the 200 bullets because, as you can look at my mini map, there's a lot of guys uh, about to be fired upon. Well, of course, I'm hitting an invisible wall. Why wouldn't I be hitting an invisible wall? I think that's something that needs to be fixed badly. This guy stayed alive. Good job. This guy knows what he's doing. He's a higher rank like me. And he knows how to play Battlefield. It's, it's it's nice being able to find random games with people that know how to play. And I also love how people don't abuse the uh, the in-game voice chat. I assumed it would be abused like crazy. So let's be honest, usually those type of things are. Yeah, not getting him. I throw those way too far to kill another one. Oh, okay. That's one way to get them out of the building. Ah! Uh, I did have enough time, I was right. I would have squeaked by at the edge, at, like, the edge of my teeth, but I gave, I did give myself enough time. I did wait long enough, however you want to say it. Surprise! Sirs, help! Sirs? I'm gonna blow out this wall so I can get a good view of their spawn. Hello, boys! That building's coming down, I think. Yeah, it was. Should have ran out the other way, to be honest, but I didn't. Oh well. But yeah, hopefully Weaponology next week. Uh, hopefully it can be a real show. So, 
you know, it adds, you know, a new feature that I haven't used yet. So hopefully it's not too hard to figure out. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, sorry again, no weaponology uh, today, but I'm holding it off for hopefully a good reason. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow with some more Battlefield 4. But uh, if you guys don't have the MT49 or the P90 or any of the guns you unlock by doing the single player, you should really do it. Single player, I didn't think that was that great, but some of the guns you get are pretty awesome. So uh, I will see you guys tomorrow.